Brandon with Revzilla here to welcome you to the best beginner motorcycle gear for 2021. To all you new riders joining us today, welcome to the world on two wheels. And I still remember picking up my first bike and what started as something that was fun and cool quickly became a passion of mine. Here at Revzilla, we're excited to share this passion and our expertise with fellow riders like yourself. Now we took that knowledge and the feedback from our community of riders to develop collections of gear for men and women, focused on a few important considerations to get new riders out on the road. In terms of style and versatility, we focused on gear for general street use. There's a large variety of bike types and styles in this category, and the gear we chose can be worn on any type of street bike you might find yourself on. And if you watched last year's gear guide, you'll probably notice a few carryovers. And that's mainly because, you know, these picks are staples in the industry due to their reliability and their performance, and they're still hard to beat considering the level of safety at that price point. And in terms of price, we understand that, uh, you know, motorcycling can get pretty expensive especially when you're first getting started out there. So we made sure each individual item on our list came in under 200 bucks. Now with that said, the first thing we're checking out today is the Scorpion XO R420 coming in at 150 bucks. Now the XO R420 is a tough one to beat considering the level of protection, the performance, and the comfort found at this particular price point. You know, beginner or not, your helmet is the most important piece of gear you're gonna wear. And while an open face helmet might look cool or be easier to put on, only a full face helmet has this sealed face shield, which is gonna cut down on the wind noise. In addition, you've got this chin bar here, which is gonna help protect your face in the unfortunate event of a crash. It also features a snail safety rating, which is a level of safety typically only found in more expensive helmets. It's relatively lightweight in its overall design, which causes less neck fatigue, especially handy for you new riders out there that may not be used to wearing a helmet all day long. And because of the intermediate oval internal shape here, it works well for most riders out there on the market. Now, if you're completely new to the game and you're not sure how to get started with purchasing a helmet, make sure you check out our how to size and buy helmets video to find out what head shape is best for you, along with a lot of good information in there. Let's keep it moving and talk about the next piece of gear we're taking a closer look at, and that is the Revit Eclipse jacket coming in at $180. Now, not only can moto jackets provide warmth, protection from the elements, and just overall style like a regular jacket, but they include features like abrasion resistance materials utilized as the main construction. We've got reinforced seams as well as impact armor in key areas that provide vastly greater levels of protection that you simply cannot get with a non-moto jacket. Now the Eclipse jacket was chosen for the beginner riders out there because it's offered at an excellent price point and the style is ideal for a wide range of different riders, including specific versions for both men and women. Now you won't find massive logos plastered everywhere, which personally I like. I hate when I've got logos all over my gear and this jacket is very comfortable in those more aggressive riding positions such as a sport bike or bikes that are a bit more upright like an ADV bike. You'll find abrasion resistant materials in key impact zones and impact armor included at the elbows and shoulders. Now keep in mind for an additional 50 bucks you can add the Revit Seasoft back protector and get the complete coverage. It has a mesh main construction which is very lightweight making the Eclipse jacket a great option for summer riding months. Now before we move on if you plan to ride in cooler conditions or you simply want to be prepared for some inclement weather for the men out there, I would check out the Scorpion Exo Optima jacket. It's a great option to consider and it is right around 200 bucks. Now for female riders in the audience, check out the Olympia Eve 2 women's jacket coming in around $180. Both of these jackets will include armor and provide some additional protection from the elements. Now next up, let's talk about gloves. And this year we have the Icon Pursuit Classic Gloves coming in at $75. Now no one likes to talk about crashing, especially when you're out there on two wheels, but for that very reason, this is why your moto gear is so, so important. In the event of a crash, we naturally kind of put our hands out in front of us to more or less brace for impact. Trust me, I know I crash my dirt bike all weekend long. And because of that, your gloves should offer impact protection, abrasion resistance, and be comfortable enough to wear all day while you're manipulating your controls. Now the Icon Pursuits were our top pick this year because they meet all of the aforementioned criteria. You'll find some impact protection at the knuckles and abrasion resistance with the perforated goat skin. Now these gloves offer good airflow, they have touch tech capabilities so you can manipulate your smartphone or your GPS without taking the gloves off. Don't text and ride please, oh my gosh, I feel like I shouldn't have to say that but please don't. Now I mentioned the goat skin offers abrasion resistance but I also want to note that goat skin is very, very comfortable to wear and it provides excellent tactile 
style feel for your controls. Now these are a pair of gloves, again, you can wear them all day long and the style is gonna work for every type of rider out there for both men and women. Now moving right along, coming in around 130 bucks, we've got the Street and Steel Oakland jeans on my right here. Motorcycle riding jeans may often look like your everyday pair of jeans, but they're certainly not the same. Moto jeans generally utilize materials such as Kevlar or polyethylene to provide riders with additional abrasion resistance. You can often find impact protection included with riding jeans, or at the very least, pockets to add that armor if you wish to do so. Now we chose the Oakland jeans for both men and women because they offer an abrasion resistant air mid at the seat, the hips, as well as the knees. Now, speaking of the knees, these jeans do include the knee armor and it's actually adjustable. So you can make sure that that knee armor is sitting in the right place, especially handy in that riding position. Now the men's version features a straight cut style, not too skinny, not too baggy. And towards the bottom of the jeans, you'll notice a very slight boot cut opening, which makes it a little bit easier to fit your jeans over your riding boots. Now for the women's versions, you're going to get a very similar straight cut style, slight boot cut towards the bottom but of course these are going to be a little bit more fitted than the men's option. Considering the high level of protection you get for a relatively affordable pair of jeans, these are going to be a great option for beginners and experienced riders alike, regardless of what bike you might find yourself on. Now the final piece of gear we're going to talk about today is motorcycle shoes and this year we chose the TCX Street 3 riding shoes for under 200 bucks. Casual riding shoes and boots have become increasingly popular within the past few years and I think that's largely due to the additional protection they provide while still maintaining that everyday casual style and walkability found in non-riding footwear. Now the TCX Street 3 shoes over here offer reinforced toe, they've got a reinforced heel as well as ankle cups. Those additional pieces of protection will help protect your feet in a crash, but they're still comfortable enough to wear for all day use. I also like that TCX offers these in a waterproof or a vented air version to match whatever kind of weather conditions you might find yourself riding through. Now, if you're not a fan of the sneaker look and you'd like a more traditional boot option, consider the TCX X Blend boots. The X Blends are a bit taller, so they offer greater coverage. And again, these like the Street 3s are offered for both men and women. So there you have it, all of RevZilla's top picks for beginner riders for 2021. And if you're anything like me, I was a bit lost and a little bit uncertain as to what made sense for me, especially when I first started riding. So hopefully this video has helped you narrow down your search and gives you a good starting point that you can feel confident looking into further. If you want more information on the gear that you've seen today, make sure to check out their individual detailed breakdown videos. But the analysis does not stop there. We've also put together gear guide articles on Common Tread that dive deeper into the details on every category across motorcycle gear. You'll get to read our testing, see the gear on riders, and most importantly, get our honest opinion on what gear deserves your consideration for 2021. And if you're still feeling unsure, do not forget about our gear geeks. They're happy to help you out, get you pointing in the right direction. They're all riders, and they can walk you through the best option for you and your riding style. I wanna thank you for watching this video, hanging out with us for a bit. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.